we're broadcasting from Slim and Mame Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Changes are ruining the game, Grim. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, so close, but not today. And it's first and ten. sure who he was throwing to on that play. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys are like playing high risk. Every time like a jack in the box, bricks, you never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. In a fight between Kick Tongue and Godzilla, a player on Roy Rage would win. Come on, man, you can't.
my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? And this game is up for grabs. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And we're at the two minute warning, folks. Stay tuned from a halftime show. And it's first and ten. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and a lot. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemies. And he just nailed them right on the numbers for a touchdown. And well, it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep. Let's go. Kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like the and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. He is fighting for a oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Air ball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the MFL rim? No, nah, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten.
Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. The Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Two-point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed. That's stupid. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Looks like my running night. There was a big explosion and an Everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? I don't even get how much. First down and forever. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a return for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Second down and long. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah. If he was aiming for the ground. Third down and long. Roid Rage is like that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage for the market chaser. They can snap you away, shorty. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback. Oh, nice hit. And the ref is picking up a lot of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those? 
win. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and six. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps offside to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Hey. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked down? What are you doing? First and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And a ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And it's first and ten. First and ten. In the goal, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. That since when is that a penalty? Well, since now, I guess, Grim. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and five. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and five. He's not going to... Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! They want more points, so they're going for two. He caught it! That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. about a 
three yard pickup. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second down and seven. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And they'll bring up third down and seven. He runs it for three. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that does His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Second down and two. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. Second down and two. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shed copper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. to the moon another loser bites the dust and the mfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. The quarterback bring the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> I want to be out. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Hot two. Hot three. And then Katz will give them a first down. Now, I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, 
Overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. Shots like that over your career? Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talk to the air. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. A Mumanji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? 
Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down in a very long. One, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> yeah, the old Brokeback Mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time grip. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for a... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right and they pick up nine with that catch uh, not enough for first but still a nice game and that'll bring up second and one Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. First down and five. Slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, look at I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.